Characters are an important part to many iClone 3 projects, and with iClone 3, the power to create any character for your project is simple and immense. For instance, if you want to change the face of this character, you can open up any face picture that you have and then import it in using iClone's face fitting wizard. Then you can just crop the picture, get the best angle you want, alright, go to the next step, and then we can just adjust these parameters here to get the face alignment perfect. And then it's best to choose male since this is a male's character as well as a male's picture. Then we can adjust it, get the eyes just right, and then we can even zoom in closer, get a better look here, zoom in closer, and then we can change these parts here, and we can adjust the left eye. There we go, get it just right. Well, I think that should do. All right. Plus, you can also change the profile of the picture. For instance, we can change his nose and make it much bigger. Notice on the 3D preview window, haha, <laughs> little witch nose. All right, you can also do this for the ears as well, but let's not do that. Let's just move on. All right, so let's name the face that we have. Just face one. Okay, load it in, and here we go. New face, new character. Perfect. All right, now let's take a look now at the eyes. All right, there we go. So you can choose any natural eye for our characters. You can choose any of these from the template, or you can have your own custom eyes. You can also do the same thing with the mouth. So you can change the teeth, the throat, or the tongue. But notice here we have several different templates for teeth, such as rabbit teeth. Haha, <laughs> Bugs Bunny. What's up, Doc? Right, you can also do it with the tongue. You can change the width of the tongue. You can also change the height of the tongue, making a big fat tongue. And you can also change the color of the tongue. Ooh, that's kind of scary. Green, blue, all right, blue tongues. Okay, now let's take a look at the face. And you can even adjust the brows of the character. Notice we can raise the brows up or throw them up, make them look angry. Or you can change the eyes, make the eyes a little smaller or bigger. Ooh, that's scary. We can also change the, the how low they are on the face or how high they are on the face. All right, let's take a look now at the noses. So we can change the nose, get a better angle on the nose here. You can make it a hook nose like a witch or you can make it like a pug, have it stick out. You can raise the nose up, I mean flare it up, excuse me. Or you can make it an Audi nose, make it a, a bulb, or you can even make it pointy. So let's take a look at the ears now. You can have the ears stick out, you can change the lobes, you can make them look like elf ears, or you can even change the mouth. You can make the mouth wider, you can change the size of the lips to make them a little thicker. And there you go, you take a regular human head, and using our 3D models, you can change it into a monster's face. And as always, you can save the head into a custom, or you just reset it back. We also have something where you can morph the entire head, such as, let's get it out a little bit so we can see. You can change it into an alien's head, or anime, or change it into a baby. We even have it where you can change the head into a devil. Ugh. Oh, wait, let's change it there. There you go. Here, let me change it a little slower so you can see the process of it morphing out to a devil's face. Ooh, scary. And as always, you can have your own custom morph heads. Alright, let's take a look now at the textures of the head. So here in the 3D preview window, you can see the head. And then you're on the left, you have the wireframe overlay. So here we can draw a quick diffuse map, give him a mustache, and you can see the result here on the 3D preview. Give him a little goatee. There we go. Haha, <laughs> pretty cool, right? You can also change the color of the entire head. What about green? Ooh, now he looks like a genie. Genie in the bottle. Give me three wishes. Okay, and you can also change the specular here, make it a little bit more shinier. Ooh. Okay, and once you have all the settings that you like, just press OK, import it into iClone 3, and there you go. You got a green, shiny, genie head with a painted on mustache and goatee. Interesting. All right, another feature I'd like to show you is under the texture map for the faces. So let's just open that up real quick. All right, here we go. Okay, so under the face, you can change the diffuse, the opacity, but let's take a look at bump maps. And I want to make sure that you also know that you can always open your own or create your own. Well, let's just come in here and let's back up a little bit. Look under face normal maps. Click on that. And notice you have several different types like scars and old. But let's just take a look at old real quick. Load that in. Give it a second to load up. All right, there it goes. Loading. Okay, and then just press OK to load it onto your face and using a direct spotlight. And we can, there you go. You can see how the wrinkles are now on his face. Moving the light around, you can get a better angle at it. So you can change your characters to make them look all kinds of different ages. For instance, on the left, we have Trey when he's 25 years old. Add in 40 years, and here's Trey when he's 65. Oh, the years have not been kind to Trey. Poor Trey. 
Or you can do this to the entire body. You can create metal bodies, transparent bodies, glowing bodies, bodies with glowing eyes, all kinds of things. Your imagination is the only limitation. So feel free to experiment and try all kinds of ideas. Generation 3, or G3 characters, have more detail but less face count. And as you can see, you have four templates to choose from. Alright, so now let's take a look now. We have G2 clone cloth. We have the old G2 characters. We have non-human characters like this boss monster. We also have special characters like this. Alright, so let's take a look now at how we can change the accessories and also how our avatars look with some of the templates we have, such as the hair. So you can change the hair to like an afro. Or you can even give them woman's hair, like this. Oh, that was, that's just kind of scary looking. All right. Okay, so you can also change the body, like this strong Superman body. Or you can make him a little plump guy, or a tall, thin guy, or change him into a cartoon. With big feet, big head, big hands, and a little tiny body. Also, we have the stick man, where you can click mirror and change the shoulders. Or you can change the arms, make them bigger, longer, stronger. Change the depth, the length, or the width. Do this with any body part on a human character. So now, ooh, you can even change his hands. Check that out. Now I can change his legs, make them taller. Change his feet, make his feet bigger. Ooh, kind of scary. So with this, you can change any normal human avatar character. Let's make his head huge. Watch this. <laughs> All right. So with this, you can take any normal avatar that we have and change it into a giant or any kind of shape that you want. So there is no limitation of what you could do. Even with women characters, you can, uh, well, you know, change the, uh, <clears throat> yeah, change the mirror and, uh, you know, make it a little bigger in certain areas. But uh, I'll leave that up to you. Okay, moving on. Okay, so let's take a look at Clone Cloth. So with Clone Cloth, you can change the upper body or the lower body. And using Photoshop, you can change the diffuse. So I can paint an S in Photoshop import it in, or save it first as JPEG, and then import it into my file, and voila! Jane is now wearing an S on her shirt. So I can also change the opacity, doing the same thing. I can use black to black out the areas I don't want, that I don't want her to wear as cloth, and leaving white areas for the area of cloth that I want her to have on, or using gray area to make it a little bit more transparent type cloth. So let's import that back in, save it as a JPEG. Voila, now her sleeves are gone, and now she has a short sleeve shirt as opposed to a long sleeve shirt. Okay? You can also do this with clone cloth, such as this long dress. Change this clone cloth into a beautiful evening gown. You can also make any kind of style, like this dress here, using diffuse as well as opacity maps. You can make any style that you want.